The first thing to do is download FreeJoy. I found the current latest version of the software does not recognize the pedals. So just scroll down the page a little and download version 1.7.0 B3. Now launch FreeJoy. In the top left of the screen, under device, select the pedals. Before taking any further steps in this tutorial, you need to do this. Click read config from device and then save this file to your computer. This is an emergency backup as it is possible to brick your pedals if you write a config without reading it from the hardware first. So saving the config file to your PC ensures you do have the original configuration to revert back to if needed. If I press each of the pedals, FreeJoy is recognizing the input, so we're now ready to begin. What we need to do is adjust the configuration so that the out or that red bar is all the way to the left when the pedal isn't pressed and all the way to the right when fully pressed. This corresponds to the zero to 100% pedal input that's registered by the game. And as you can see, it's not set correctly, so let's fix that. The first step is to click on calibrate and press the pedal fully and release and do this a few times, then click stop and save. This gives us our baseline working values. Next, write config to device to apply this to the pedals. Take notice, I have to reselect the pedals from the device menu each time I write to the device. Don't make the error of writing to the wrong device if FreeJoy displays multiple devices. The red bar now shows us the changes and it's closer to being fully calibrated, but not quite. That red bar is not reaching 100%, so we do need to make an adjustment to the value. First, I'm gonna add a small measure of dead zone to the min number that represents the pedal not being pressed. We do this as the weight bearing on the load cell sensor can have a small measure of variance at any one time, and that would be picked up as pedal input into the game, so that would be unwanted pedal input. So we want to cancel that out. Next, onto the max value, we need to reduce the number so when the pedal is fully pressed, 100% input is registered. Once we're done, apply the changes as before so we can test it. That looks fine. I may make some small tweaks to those values later, but that should be okay to start with. Now simply repeat the same process for the clutch and the brake pedal. And that's how you set up the SimJack Pro pedals in FreeJoy. One final note, for the brake, adjust the max value to how firm you want the pedal to be to reach 100% braking input. That's something you'll need to experiment with on track to find out what works for you and maybe return back to FreeJoy to make some minor adjustments and fine tune your settings. If you found this video useful, do hit the like to help support my channel. That would be much appreciated. And subscribe for more tips and guides in the future. And until next time, happy simming and bye bye.